My name's Zio, and it's no secret that people have had some not nice things to say about PSO2 NGS. Folks have been dogging this game non-stop over the past two plus years, and it's not entirely without merit. I've already made not one, but two videos on that subject, and they seem to resonate well with you folks. But someone made the suggestion that I read the good ones. This game is seen by a lot of folks as moribund and irredeemable, but surely it does some things right, right? So if you don't know how this works, I'm going to read off a few of these reviews that I pulled off of Steam and offer up my own take. Not gonna lie, it's really damn fun. Especially with friends and stuff. Combat is great too. Agreed on both points. The making friends thing can be tough, especially if you're particularly shy. But once you do make a few friends, oh man, it can make the most monotonous and tiresome grind fest bearable, if not enjoyable. Imagine the scenario, if you will, you and a few friends in a combat zone, chopping it up on Discord or party chat about the most random stuff ever. And before you know it, several hours have passed, you've gained a few levels, racked up some Masetta, maybe even a few rare drops. You're not likely to remember any of that, but you're definitely sure to remember the conversations you had. I too enjoy the combat, it's very fluid. Now some people might say, Button blow sucks. I'm gonna just say that. 9 out of 10, 8,000 hours plus. I've been playing this game for a long time on the JP and NA servers. I love the combat, fashion, true endgame, and classes, but NGS still has a few problems when you compare NGS to base. They meant to say JP here, but they used a the no-no word and Steam didn't like that. This person's likely been through multiple phases of base game's life cycle like I have. It may not be what some of us want it to be, but I have a feeling it'll get there at some point. Definitely agreed on the fashion true endgame part. Mowing down hordes of baddies while looking absolutely marvelous while doing so is important. The flow of content is pretty slow, unless you count the fashion AC tickets. Story for NGS is okay-ish. It's not near base PSO2's level. The combat is good though. Community for it seems pretty good too. Honestly, I treat it as a side MMO. Something to distract myself while I'm bored with other games. Yeah, fair play on the slow roll of content thing. That's definitely been one of the biggest gripes. Community, yeah, it has its share of issues, it has its share of head cases, but then again, what gathering of humans doesn't have those? Hell, it's part of why I'm still here. Side chick? Yeah, I could see that given the way they roll out content here. This is a casual game. I'm sure you have already read reviews with lots of complaints and such. As a gamer that is relatively younger than the nostalgic audience, NGS was a very welcome upgrade. My hours are mostly from AFK, waiting for the next UQ. People complain about how there is much more content in base and how NGS is empty, and those complaints are really valid. However, base PSO2 had 10 plus years to cook before coming to global. Because of this, NGS is quite empty in comparison. The NGS release was bad too, and that resulted in bad reputations to the game, which no doubt harmed the player numbers and subsequent development speeds of the game. The content amount in NGS is starting to catch up with base, albeit slowly. Eventually, I think that they will need to find ways to engage the most hardcore players, because they are the only ones that can and will stay around and attract new players. A mentoring system would help so much in this game. The game has absolutely no requirement to pay to win, and there is much content to do before really reaching endgame. That said, if you play the game hardcore, this game will feel like staring at an unfinished art canvas very quickly. Like maybe less than two hours a day, running endgame dungeons or doing UQ occasionally would be good enough. Otherwise, it's going to become as dry as microwaved bread. Base combat felt really janky to me, who grew up playing games like BNS and BDL. I love NGS combat, and it is arguably some of the smoothest and simplest you will see in an MMO without losing the game's skill requirement for endgame content. 
TLDR, if you're a super hardcore gamer, this game will become uninteresting fast. If you are casual, this is quite worth playing, like an hour a day. If you are in between, I would say to judge the game yourselves. So, this is coming from a younger player as opposed to a jaded old timer like myself, that's actually kind of refreshing. While the game definitely feels tailored towards the casuals, it does have its hardcore or aspirational content like Solus. There's supposed to be another fight like that coming in December. As for a mentoring system, I don't know about that. 14 has one, and it's kind of a meme over there. So yeah, people really like the combat and the fashion. Doesn't hurt that the game's environments look pretty too. If you haven't tried the game yet and you're on the fence about it, definitely give it a shot and make up your own mind. If you enjoy it, cool. If not, that's okay too. If you did and you find this at all helpful, well, you know what to do. I also stream on Twitch a few nights a week. Come on by and hang out sometime. We'd love to have you. If you're on ship one and looking to meet people, I have these parties at my creative space on the first and third Saturday of each month. Come on by and hang out sometime. Anyway, that's going to do it. I hope you have a blessed day. And remember, to thine own self be true. Until next time, farewell.